Yeah, so again, carrying on the movie madness or the madness yeah. that's going on in Hollywood. Yeah. Um, this is this is linked to a man who right now you can't go to social media, you can't go to news, you can't go to anything without seeing a mention of Mr. Sean Combs, a.k.a. Diddy, a.k.a. Diddler, Diddler a.k.a. Mr. Freakoff, a.k.a. 100,000 bottles of baby oil, whatever you want to call him. Uh, a.k.a. Love, you ain't love now, but a.k.a. What a love. Fall from grace. What a fall from grace. So, we're going to be talking about the fact that, not the fact that he had a 1,000 bottles of baby oil, but the fact that Diddy uh -huh. um, is now going to be subject of an upcoming Netflix docu-series that of course we kind of know has been helped get to the screen or the small screen by a certain Mr. Curtis 50 Jackson. Cent Jackson. Yeah. Bruv, how do you feel about 50 Cent and Netflix teaming up to make a Surviving R. Kelly-esque documentary on the man they call the Diddler, aka Mr. Freak Off? I mean, it's long take overdue. Take that, take that, take that. It's long overdue. Yeah, I mean, 50, 50 is troll extraordinaire. Diabolical. And doesn't let up on nobody. No, if man. he's got beef for you, I it's a problem. sorry for you. It's a problem. Because he's... Just ride with that beef. Yeah, he's not going to ever let you forget mm. it. He's not mm. going to let you. He's fuck, you know, 50 mm. is something else. He's that guy. And the fact that he's producing the documentary, it's, it's mad. Mm. But, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've, I've, I want the documentary. Because I wanted, I've, I've wanted to see it. I've wanted to see it all laid out for a change. Yeah. Because I'm one of the few, quote unquote, conspiracy theorists yeah. that know about all of the deep stuff. I've yeah. been following this shit for 20 years. Yeah. So I've heard all the stories. Yeah. I already believed it from back then. Mm. I read Mark Curry's book, Dancing with the Devil. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. 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 So all of the stuff that everyone now is talking about, and even, even a lot of people now even like disputing the fact whether half of it's true. To me, all you people are old. You're new, sorry. You're all new because you didn't know. If you paid attention to the, the grapevine, you would know that all of these stories are old. None of them are new. So all you people saying that, that is it, it's not true. They're trying to take down this black man for um, being so rich. No, they're not. Mm. If you know about these stories, the, a lot of this shit happened way before this dude was ever a billionaire. Yeah, yeah ever a billionaire and we can go back to the 90s that's how far back these stories go don't play like it's not none of this oh oh all of a sudden everyone's attacking diddy no yeah yeah so this documentary is long overdue long there's overdue. way like when people here's the thing everyone's been saying ah all of a sudden all of these um uh what do you call it victims are coming out of woodwork that when people say stuff like that i'm like yeah you don't pay attention mm. you don't pay attention to what's been going on if you know People have been saying shit for time. Enough people have been scared to say shit because he will have you dealt with. This is a known fact that he will have you dealt with. That's the reason why everyone was um, always getting that Aubrey O'Day, the white girl from uh, Danny E. Kane. Why she's so brave to talk. Exactly, she was brave to talk because everyone was surprised that she was talking. But she, if you notice, she's never ever said anything because she still always held her tongue, but she's always said, I don't fuck with that dude, yeah. and he's gonna get his comeuppance yeah, one day. Yeah, yeah. Now he's getting it. Yeah, yeah, Go yeah. back how many years and you'll see that she's been saying this shit yeah, for years. Yeah, yeah. All the stuff that Jaguar Wright been saying, and people keep dissing Jaguar Wright, yes, she's crazy, yeah. but a broken clock is, twi is right still twice, twice a day. Yeah, and yeah. please, everyone that's like Jaguar Wright is, don't know what she's talking about, she's never been in the industry. Go back and watch old school videos. She's a singer. No, I mean, Jay-Z's unplugged. Um, She's right there. Concert. She sings all of that. And yeah. Song Cry, her yeah. performance in Song Cry was absolutely amazing. Exactly. Um, so people, when people try to like, who is this? She come out knowing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, fully Django, been in the industry. Django was in the industry. And I think, unfortunately, especially nowadays, sometimes it's how the package is presented, isn't it? Because if she came across like a, who can I, I'm not going to, I don't know why I put for this person, but like, see how Angela Yee yeah, is quite well spoken. She can move mean. around. She can interview anyone. Blah blah blah. And then I was saying like she's very well media trained. Obviously yeah. she's a media personality. If Jaguar was saying some of this stuff like that, then I think a lot of people would have taken more um, yeah. notice of her a long time ago. 